Welcome to Beautiful People. My name is Sable and welcome to my channel, Curls with CPA, where I take you on this perfectly imperfect journey and I give you the tools to tame them tresses. So today I look a little different, I know, <laughs> because it's wash day. Yes, that's right. It is wash day. I have a deep conditioner brewing under here, but I wanted to come and just kind of do a little intro for you guys. I hope that everyone is good enjoying this period of social distancing. I hope you guys are in good health. If you are not feeling well, you know, sending you good vibes. But today we're going to talk about one of Texture ID's newest lines, the Dry Hair and Scalp Relief Collection. Now this collection has four products and I have three of the four. And I purchased these during the black, I call it Black History Month sale because on the website. I don't know if it said curly hair or ethnic hair. It said one of those things, but basically last month, all of the textured hair, there it is, the textured hair products were on sale. And you know, as I was perusing, trying to get one of my faves, um, what's it called? The Texture ID Curling Cream. Is it curling cream? Let me see what it's called. Let me, let me be, let me be accurate. Yes, while I was copping the styling cream, I noticed that I saw some new colors, okay? And so this doesn't happen to me all the time, but I have periods in my life when my scalp is a hot mess. And so when I saw that, I was like, oh, this would be something good to have in my arsenal for when my scalp is acting a plump full. And I think that we found a winner okay in a few i'm gonna show you guys how i use the products but before we get into the demo are you subscribed take a moment to just look down below subscribe to my channel if you saw my goals video y'all know that i'm trying to get up to 5k and you know i got a little little ways to go <laughs> basically subscribe to my channel and punch that notification bell so you know when i upload new videos and you know now let's just get into it. All right, so I'm starting off on an old wash and go. I think I used the African Pride products to do this wash and go. Um, but my hair was like, this is probably like day seven. So my hair is super tangled, still super curly, but it's definitely time to wash, okay? And so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate my hair in half. And that's how I usually wash my hair. What I like to do before starting the washing process, I like to saturate my hair with water and lightly finger detangle. This helps me to use less product, but then it also helps my hair not to be super tangled at the end. So the first product that I'm going to use is the Dry Hair and Scalp Exfoliating Shampoo and Scalp Scrub. Now, my first impression of this was, this is not a shampoo. <laughs> It is not a shampoo and it also does not feel like a scrub. It honestly felt more like a co-wash. It had maybe like a little, a little tiny, tiny glimmer of grittiness. You know, that 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 feeling that you feel when you have a, um, like, a, like a scrub in your hand. But it wasn't nothing to like write home about. So, <laughs> but let me read you the back. It says the exfoliating shampoo, scalp and scrub helps soothe itchiness caused by dryness and invigorates and refreshes hair and scalp. Micro exfoliating crystals gently massage the scalp to help loosen dirt and impurities for deeper cleansing. And the directions say to apply to wet hair and massage in small sections from roots to end. Gently massage scalp and detangle with fingers, then rinse. So the first side of my head, I followed the instructions and I did my hair in small sections and you know, I applied it to my hair, massaged it in the section, massaged my scalp, and then I detangled my fingers, and then eventually with my brush. Now this was not necessarily my preferred method, and it could have been, it could be a couple factors, right? So my hair, I think my hair needed a little bit more water. I noticed when I put my hand under the water and I touched my hair, it felt like it was activating the slipperiness. And of course I decided to try this product on a day when my hair was super, super tangled. But I think that it did a good job of getting through the tangles. 
and I was able to kind of revive my hair a little bit because it was like really matted from just being in the wash and go state for such a long time. And then I was also working out that week. So the sweating, it just kind of, it really, really tangled my hair a lot. So I can attest that when they say to detangle that the product is formulated in a way that it was helpful in the detangling process. And after I'm done detangling each section, I like to take the brush and just kind of go through each section again because, you know, the the hair fairies come through and they retangle, detangle hair. <laughs> and then after I'm fully detangled, then I just scrub my scalp and it felt really good. The tingliness took a while to arrive to the party. It, you know, it showed up fashionably late. <laughs> But you know, once I started to really scrub my hair and my hair was detangled, I was able to definitely feel that cool sensation. When I was rinsing, that's when I felt the most tingling, but it wasn't extreme. rinsing my hair out my hair felt clean it wasn't super super soft but it was shiny and it was clean and so I started to do the other side of my hair off camera but I wanted to come on camera because I used a different method on the other side so instead of putting my hair in sections what I did was I like super super saturated my hair with water and I detangled a little more than I did with the first section and when my hair was soaking wet then I put the product on top of the entire section I worked it in I finger detangled and when I did it that way I used a lot less product and then after you know finger detangling as much as I could with the entire section then I broke it down and I detangled with the brush I just like the fact that I was able to detangle with this product like it was a conditioner and it still cleansed my hair really nicely All right, and just like the other side, I just go through the brush one more time throughout the entire section. Excuse the faces, my scalp was super sensitive that day. And then I just scrub my scalp. Don't forget them edges. <laughs> After rinsing out the shampoo, I went in with the Soothing Hair Mask, which is supposed to deeply moisturize, strengthen, and repair hair. And the key ingredients are avocado and cocoa butter. Tetra ID Soothing Hair Mask is enriched with avocado oil and cocoa butter to help repair and condition, while powerful antioxidants nourish and strengthen dry, damaged hair. Provides intense moisture and helps promote all around healthier hair and scalp. So they have directions for two types of uses. They have for daily use and weekly use. For daily use, it says to leave on for two to three minutes, then rinse with warm water followed by a cool water rinse. And then for weekly use, it says to leave in up to seven to 10 minutes. Rinse thoroughly, no heat required. So this deep conditioner, I liked it, but it was very, very difficult to actually work into my hair. Like I had to kind of strategize, all right, what section am I gonna put it on first? Then I needed to separate it to make sure that the nooks and crannies, like the middle got product, because this was not a very easy product to distribute.
All right, so I've used this product about two times and I still have a good amount left. It, oh, man, opening this product just gave me the, all the smells. It smells so good. It smells like sweet tarts and mint. Oh, it smells really good. But like I was saying, this is really, really thick and it's not the easiest product to distribute. So you kind of have to take your time and just make sure that you fully coat your hair with it. It's easy to miss spots. So what I did was I just kind of put it in everywhere and then I just separated my hair in half and made sure the middle got some product as well. But I love how thick it is. All right, and then once I'm done putting the product on both sides, I take a little bit of product, put it over my twist, and then I put on my processing caps. And then after processing the deep conditioner for about 30 minutes, once I took off those caps, I could feel that my hair absorbed the product. My hair felt super, super soft, and then it also felt super soft after I was rinsing the product out. All right, and then that's it. I'm left with super shiny, clean, and clumped curls. Yeah. All right, so my first impressions of these products were, I like them. With the exfoliating shampoo and scrub, it was everything and nothing that I expected. <laughs> it was nice to use, but I definitely think that this is more of like a luxury product or like a, okay, I'm gonna treat my scalp day. This, I don't think it's an everyday shampoo scrub, at least for me. And maybe my hair is just extra, right? But I feel like it took me a little while to really work it in. What makes it go by faster is if you start with detangled hair. I think that once your hair is detangled, the product it can kind of go through your strands easier, but then it's also easier to scrub your scalp, okay? Now today, this was my second time using the product, and I was able to go by a little faster, knowing that, okay, I'm not gonna section my entire head to put this on. I did it like I did in the video the second time around, where I put it on my hair where it's a little more detangled, and it was super, super wet, and then I just worked it in, and I figure detangled, and then I scrubbed my scalp, and then I like worked it into my strands, and I left my hair very clean. My scalp felt very clean and refreshed. So yeah, I would definitely repurchase this and maybe use it once a month or just as needed whenever my scalp starts to get a lot of buildup on it or starts to get irritated. So yeah, I like this. All right, next, let's talk about this mask. I really like this mask. Like I said before, going on, it is really hard to distribute. But once you get it on there, you're good. When I rinsed out my hair, my hair felt so good. Now, if you are a overnight deep conditioner, don't do this, don't do that to yourself. Like this is where the tingles live, okay? With the shampoo, the tingling was okay. It was super okay. But with this, let me, let me fix that. <laughs> but with this deep conditioner, like, when I put it on my hair, I really, you know, worked it in, but then I, cause I wanted it to touch my scalp too. By the time, like not even a minute passed, you will, we, you will feel the tingles, all the tingles, and it will feel so refreshing. Oh my goodness. But, my friend, do not leave this deep conditioner in for hours upon hours. Your scalp will be on fire, okay? The tingles will just intensify as the hours go by, okay? So for me, I think the first time I used it, my intention was to keep it off for 30 minutes, but I'm pretty sure that it was in my hair for like two hours. And by one hour and 59 minutes, my scalp was like, Madame, are you going to wash this out? But I mean, once I rinsed out my hair, my scalp was fine. My scalp wasn't irritated or anything. It just felt super cool and yummy and tingly in a good way. <laughs> so I really like this deep conditioner, but do not sleep in this. Don't, don't sleep in this. Don't go run errands in this. <laughs> 
just because you know i mean on the in the instructions it says to use it for up to 10 minutes so i think i needed more than 10 minutes but i don't think i need more than two hours so my humble opinion you can do as you wish i will definitely repurchase this deep conditioner it didn't take a lot even though it was hard to distribute on my scalp i mean my hair it didn't take a lot for me to use like the first time i used it i was like that's all i use because in my mind i used a whole lot but yeah i really like this deep conditioner and so since today was my second time around trying products i wanted to do something a little different and so i used this soothing scalp mist as a kind of pre-treatment so to use this product i separated my hair into two sections and as you can see it's kind of watery it's like an oil water type of consistency and so what i do is i just point the nozzle towards my scalp as close as i can get and then i just spray and i make sure that i get every inch of my scalp And it feels so good going on. It feels like a splash of minty goodness, okay? <laughs> it's not super strong, but it feels really nice and cool going on. So if your scalp is like irritated, or if it's like super dry or itchy, this is definitely something that will soothe your scalp. So the back of it says, the Texture ID Soothing Scalp Mist Calms and Cools Scalp Irritation Caused by Dryness. A moisture-rich infusion of aloe vera and honey extract helps soothe and condition to alleviate flakiness due to dry scalp. The directions say to mist onto dry or wet hair and scalp style as usual. Now I didn't use it exactly as the directions say. I distributed it on my scalp. I kind of worked it in with my fingers and then I shampooed my hair. So instead of using it as a treatment after washing my hair, I used it as one before. But I definitely think this can be used after washing your hair but and then also midweek to kind of give your scalp a nice refreshing. So yeah, I like this product. The only thing that I did not like about it is the hardware, right? So as you can see, this is a cool little nozzle and it's nice, but it moves too easily. And so when I was using it, I had to really, really like point it at my scalp so that it didn't move around. But it's not necessarily a deal breaker. It's just that it can be kind of annoying. And then it just has this nice little thing here that keeps it from squirting all over the place. So yeah, I like this. I will definitely repurchase it. I've used it twice and it's like up to here. So yeah, I think this is a bang for your buck. So yeah guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this review slash demo. If you are interested in trying these products, I've included some links down below so you can get your hands on them. As I mentioned before, this line has four products in it. The only one that I'm missing is the Soothing Scalp Oil, which I've included the link down below as well, but I have not tried it, so I don't know how well it works. If it is anything like the other products that I tried, then I think it would work well. But that is it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comments section. Also, let me know if you were surprised by any of my reactions or my findings. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and good soothing vibes. Bye.